let us see the next uh, algorithm. See, say there is a station A and there is a station B and both A and B are transmitting the data and now there is a collision and because of the collision both uh, A and B received the collision signal and they have seen it and they stopped. Okay. Now A and B knows that their data is lost in the collision because of the collision detection which we have used and now they start the transmission. Then when should A and B again start retransmitting? Because their uh, data is lost, they are again supposed to retransmit. When, when are they supposed to do that? So what happens is in general, they will try to start retransmitting immediately if there is no restriction, isn't it? See it is like this, you could imagine like this. Let us say you, you, are, you are trying to call your friend and your friend is trying to call you and uh, you have seen that um, Angus tone in the phone. Then what will you do? You will try again. What will your friend do? He will try again. Then what happens? Again there will be a collision, right? And both of you will know that there is Angus tone and you will stop and again you start at the same time, isn't it? So if that happens here also, what happens is A will start again and B will start again and again there will be a collision right and because of the collision both of them will see the collision signal and again stop and again they will start at the same time so this will keep on happening without any stopping right so for this uh, in order to resolve this problem we need to have an algorithm which can be implemented so that after the collision both A and B will not start retransmitting at the same time so if they could start retransmitting at different times if someone could wait then it will be better right so for this uh, for this purpose we are going to look at an algorithm called back off algorithm back off algorithm okay so back off algorithm gives the waiting time which means if a station gets involved in a collision now okay after how how you know after how much amount of time or till how how long the station should wait before it again uh, starts retransmitting that is nothing but back off algorithm okay so i'll tell you some few points about it now so back off algorithm is used to give the waiting time for the stations involved in collision so why waiting time is because if they start at the same time then uh, there could be again a chance of collision that waiting time is also called as sometimes called as back off time so let's see this uh, back off algorithm now let us say there are two stations station A and station B and A is trying to send its packet number 1 and B is trying to send its packet number 1 at the same time then what happens both of them will start sending the packets and there will be a collision okay and because of the collision the data will be lost and both of them will come to know about the collision now now my question is for the data packet one i am not talking about the host a i am talking about the data packet one for the data packet one what is the collision number so for the data packet one the collision number is n equal to 1 and for the data packet 1 of b what is the collision collision number is 1 See, this collision number is you know, according to the data packet, not according to the host. Which means collision number here is 0, 1 and collision number here is 1. Then this algorithm says that both the host A and B should randomly choose a number between 0 to 2 power n minus 1. Which means from 0 to 2 power n minus 1. What is 2 power n minus 1? 2 power 1 minus 1, right? 2 power n minus 1. Both of them should choose. So that range here is 0, 1 and that range here is 0, 1 which means A and B should choose randomly from this range. See this range has to be generated 0 to 2 power n minus 1 and then A and B both of them have to, gen have to select a random number from this range. So A has to choose a random number from this range and B has to choose a random number from this range. Then what are all the possibilities? So for A the possibility is 0, 0, A and B or the other possibility is 0, 1, other possibility is 1, 0 or the other possibility is 1, 1, right. So what does it mean is 
I'll take a I'll take a case and I'll explain you. Let us say this is the case which which has happened, which means A has chosen zero and B has chosen one. Then A's waiting time. A's waiting time, which means how much time should A wait before retransmitting the same packet is A's waiting time is zero into T slot. Okay, and B's waiting time is. B's waiting time is B should wait for one into T slot, which means B should wait for one time slot and A should wait for zero time slot. So which means A need not wait at all. B has to wait for one time slot before again it you know starts the packet. So from this you should understand one thing. B is going to wait for one time slot and A is going to immediately retransmit. Now this time slot will be set in such a way that even if B tries to send after this time slot, it will see the A's first bit on its side. At least it will see that, which means this time slot will be set in such a way that uh, even if even if after this time slot, let us say A1, A1 means A will start transmitting immediately, which means A's packet will be reaching the other side immediately. I mean after TP time. And now this time slot will be set in such a way that even if B sees now, it will see that the link is busy. Therefore, it will stop transmitting the packet. That is how this time slot value will be set. That depends on the uh, network length and many other parameters, right? So for now, understand that there is something called time slot. Using time slot, we are going to find out the waiting times. Okay? So, so you understood that in this case, who won A won the race? which means A can retransmit the packet immediately. In this case, if 1, 0 is the case, then what is the waiting time for A? It is one time slot. And what is the waiting time for B? It is 0. Therefore, uh, B1 in this case. If this is the case, which means both of them have chosen 0, 0, what happens? A will try immediately and B will try immediately and then there will be a collision. If this is the case, what happens? A will wait for one time slot before retransmitting and B will wait for one time slot before retransmitting therefore there will be a collision right so after seeing at this all the chances now tell me what is the probability for A's winning after the first collision assuming that there is one collision between A and B and the data packets are 1 and 1 what is the probability for A's winning probability for A's winning is 1 upon 4 and probability for B's winning is 1 upon 4 and probability for next collision. These are all conditional probabilities you should remember. So this is the probability given that uh, there is a collision between A and B and then we are applying the back of algorithm then what is it right. So probability for the second collision given that first collision has occurred is 2 upon 4 which is nothing but 50%, 25%, 25% and 50%, right? Fine. Now, now I'll take the, I'll continue this example. Let us assume that A won this collision. A won this collision, which means A has sent its first packet. A winning means what? Winning means this has happened. See this? Let us say this is host A and host B, the same, the same example. Now A won the channel according to the back of algorithm which means it has chosen this probability 0, the 0 and therefore A has transmitted its data packet 1 and now A's packet is out. Okay. Now A, A is done with its first packet but B's first packet is not yet transmitted. Okay. So B is still waiting to transmit its first packet but A has transmitted its second, first packet and it is waiting with the second packet. Now assume that both of them again have started transmission at the same time or some you know with some difference in such a way that uh, again the second packet of A, this is the second packet of A is going to collide with first packet of B. Again there is a collision and now this collision is between second packet of A and first packet of B. Right? So now in this case what is the collision number for second packet of A and what is the collision number for first packet of B? Collision number, collision number N for the second packet of A is 1. Why? For the second packet of A, this is the first time it is getting involved in collision, right? And what is the collision number 
for the first packet of B. For the first packet of B, this is the second time it is getting involved in collision. The reason is, for the first packet of B, it already got involved in collision with first packet of A. Right? But now for the first packet of second packet of A, this is first time collision. And for the first packet of B, it is second time collision. Therefore, the range of numbers for A and B will be different here. The range for A is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 is 0 comma 1. And the range for B is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 is 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? Now, among these combinations, what will A choose or what is what are the various combinations possible for A and B? So, for A and B, the various combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And for this 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. Okay? Now, let us analyze each case one by one. If this is the case, then what does it mean? Both of them have chosen 0, 0, which means both of them will try to send the data at the same time, right? So, this is a collision. If this is the case, if this is the case, A can retransmit immediately and B has to wait for one time slot. Therefore, who won? A won. If this is the case, A can retransmit immediately and B has to wait. A won. If this is the case, A has to retransmit immediately, B has to wait, which means A won. And about this, if this is the case, then B has B can send immediately, A can wait, which means B1. If this is the case, again this is a collision. Why? Both of them are going to wait for 1-1. One, one. If this is the case, if this is the case, who is going to wait for long time? B is going to wait for the long time and A can retransmit immediately, right? Therefore, who won here? Uh, A1. If this is the case, who won? Again, A's waiting time is less compared to B, therefore A1. So, given that there is one collision and in the first collision, A1, for the second time collision, which means A won the first time and A has transmitted the first packet and A is now transmitting the second packet. Okay. So, in this case, what is the probability is? Probability of collision, which means what is the probability for the next time collision is? It is 2. Probability for next collision is 2 by 8. Probability of A spinning. Again, this is conditional probability. It is not direct probability. Given that there is a collision first time and then A won the first collision and then what is the probability for A spinning the next collision is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 upon 8. And what is the probability for B spinning? B spinning is out of these 8 chances, B will win one time, which means 1 upon 8. So, this is the conditional probabilities, right? Remember that A won the first time and now this is the second time. Assume that among all these uh, combinations, in all these combinations, again, one of the combination has happened in which again A won. Let us say this combination has happened, which means A has chosen 0 and B has chosen 2 and A won the race again. Now, what happens next? So, what happens if A wins? A was ready with second packet, isn't it? A was having second packet, packet number 2. Now, A will send its second packet happily and that is done. And now, A will be ready with third packet, but B is still having first packet in its hands. Why? B has not yet got this chance to transmit the packet, right? Are you understanding this? So, A has sent the second packet completely and B is, no, A is ready with the third packet, but B is still holding the first packet and waiting to transmit the first packet, right? So, now assume that there is a collision between, there is a collision between packet number 3 of A and packet number 1 of B. This collision is between packet number 3 of A and packet number 1 of B. Then, what is the collision number for the third packet of A? This is the first time it is getting involved in collision, therefore collision number equal to 1. What is the collision number for packet number 1 of B? See, packet number 1 of B has already involved in collision with packet number 1 of A and packet number 1 of 2 of A and now it is getting involved in packet number 3 of A. So, which means the collision number for B is 3. So, collision number for A is 1 and collision number for B is 3. 
So how many numbers do I get here? 0 to 2 power n minus 1, which means 0 comma 1. And how many numbers do I get here? 0 to 2 power 3 minus 1, which means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, what is the table? How many combinations do I have for A and B? 2 into 8. It is not 2 into 7. It is 2 into 8. 2 into 8 is 16. So I have to write 16 combinations. Since there are 16 combinations, I am not going to write them all. Okay, okay, fine. If you want me to write, I will write it. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. Even without writing it, you should be able to guess it. But still, I am doing it. These are 8 combinations. And again, one more 8 combinations with uh, 1. 1, 0. 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 right so if i have 0 0 then uh, what what happens if i have 0 0 it means that there it is again a collision why both a and b are starting at the same time immediately if i have 0 1 then what is the uh, what is this case it means that a can start immediately but b has to wait for some time a can start immediately but b has to wait for some time then what is the case a1 what is the case a1 what is the case a1 a can start immediately therefore in all the cases a is going to win and b is going to wait now 1 0 which means b is not going to wait b can start immediately but then a is going to wait for one time slot Therefore, in this case, who is going to win? B win. In this case, there is a collision. In this case, who is going to win? Again, A's waiting time is less compared to B's waiting time. Therefore, A is going to start, not, even though not immediately, after some time, after one time slot. But T, B has to wait for two time slots. Therefore, A is going to win. And again in this, A is going to win. 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 Right? So in all the 16 combinations, what is the probability for A's winning? The probability for A's winning is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Which means probability for A's winning is 13 by 16. What is the probability for B's winning? Probability for B's winning is in all these combinations, 16 combinations, only one case this only in this case b1 which means 1 upon 16 what is the probability for next collision probability for next collision is only two chances 0 0 1 1 which means 2 upon 16 right so you should understand this again these probabilities are not absolute probabilities these are uh, conditional probabilities which means given that a1 the first collision there is there is collision number one in which a1 and again collision number 2 in which A1 then what happens next time so these are all conditional probabilities right so what you could do is you could play with this question you know with many various combinations I checked it with A is winning in this case and A is winning in this case then what happens you can check with B is winning in this case B is winning in this case then what happens you can check with collision A collision B a collision b collision you get you get nearly eight cases so for all those eight cases you can see what are the final values right so the what is the main purpose of the back of algorithm is back of algorithm is using back of algorithm it is going to give us waiting time right so what is waiting time waiting time is k into some time slot now what is time slot time slot is some fixed value according to the network right then what is this k k is a number randomly chosen from the range 0 to 2 power n minus 1 where n is the collision number where n is collision number for the packet okay understand this waiting time for a station waiting time for a station is equal to k into time slot and where k is k is present in a range 0 to 2 power n minus 1 and where n is the collision number right so depending on this we are getting the waiting time so i have shown you an example with this so one thing you should observe here is uh, there is a disadvantage of this so first thing is 
Coming to the collision probability, initial collision probability is 100% and next time collision probability is 2 by 4, 50% and next time collision probability is 1 by 8 and next time collision probability is 2 by 16 which means collision probability is decreasing exponentially that is one thing you should observe and uh, second point is if A has 1 in the first collision see initially what is the probability for A spinning and B spinning both are same 1 by 4 1 by 4 which means 25 percent but if A won the first collision what is the probability that it will win the next collision is 5 by 8 which means A is winning the probability, you know, A is winning the collision is increasing, isn't it? Now, if A has won the second time also, then what is the probability that it wins the next time? It is even increasing, 13 by 16, which means if any host wins the uh, collision one time, it is going to, you know, win the collision uh, for many number of times, right? So, the reason is simple. Uh, the reason is uh, the probability if you are looking at it so it is initially 1 by 4 and then it is then uh, uh, 5 by 8 and then it is 13 by 16 right so you should keep one thing in mind there is a there is a disadvantage of back of algorithm the back of algorithm is if one station wins one time it will keep on winning many number of times right this is also called as capture effect capture effect so capture effect is if a station wins a collision one time then its uh, probability of winning this success successive collisions is going to increase exponentially okay that is the disadvantage of this back of algorithm and moreover back of algorithm will be applied only for two holes that is why it is also called as binary back of algorithm and uh, the probabilities are going to increase or decrease exponentially so that is why it is also called as binary exponential back of algorithm but then this method can be applied only for two stations not for more than that so it is called binary okay so we shall see the next access control method